the low speed test, we're only going to go up to a maximum of 30 knots uh, ground speed. And uh, we will evaluate how the airplane handles on the ground. We will use, evaluate the nose wheel steering to give the pilot a, a feel for how the airplane will, will handle when he has to taxi out for, for first flight. Paul is an important part of, the, uh, of our evaluation. He's the, uh, he's the one that will uh, give us his evaluation of how the airplane handles. And Paul has been doing a lot of preparation for this, uh, the low speed and high speed taxi test at Mac Air's uh, ground based simulators that we, where we've been doing a lot of our low speed ground handling simulation. Uh, a lot of the work that Paul has done there will be a, uh, give him the, the, the feeling for the airplane uh, so that the first time he gets in the airplane he has an idea how it's going to, how it's going to handle. But he will verify that now during our, our taxi test. Looking at uh, the operation of the nose wheel steering and the brakes predominantly today, and um, as you might imagine, they're a bit more complex than your car steering and brakes. So we have a number of uh, different modes that we operate in, and uh, we tested all those modes today. And it was extremely successful. The airplane is uh, is a solid performer and uh, taxis very well. Brakes are excellent. We had a uh, blistering 30 knots, which is about 35 miles an hour, but that's a, a normal build-up approach that we use in flight tests. That, uh, we start there and of course build up to higher speeds, which we'll be doing uh, very soon. I've been looking forward to this for four years and, uh, and a first flight for all my life. So uh, for me, it's just the threshold of some very exciting times that we're going to have together as a company. the Air Force's new jet fighter. This version built by the Northrop McDonnell Douglas team. The competing version is being built by a team made up of Lockheed, Boeing, and General Dynamics. It will be unveiled later this week. Now, whoever comes out the winner in this high-stakes dogfight will be awarded a multi-billion dollar contract to build 750 of these new advanced tactical fighters. Hmm. No dogfights here. Yeah. This week in a competition for an Air Force contract. If Northrop gets the bid, it'll mean thousands of America's newest fighter plane. A team of engineers from Northrop and McDonnell Douglas unveil their fighter of the future today at Edwards Air Force Base.
It's the ATF, Advanced Tactical Fighter, and it's designed to replace the Air Force's F-15 fighter jet. Here's what the pilot who took the ATF for spin today had to say. The airplane appears to be very clean, very clean, much cleaner than we expected. Um, during the climb out, I was using considerably less power than I expected, and the chase airplanes were an afterburner uh, just to stay with me with my landing gear down. The fighter jet will cruise at 1,000 miles an hour. Northrop and McDonnell Douglas hope to win the Air Force contract for the fighter. Lockheed, Boeing, and General Dynamics have teamed up to design their own model. It gets its first test flight on Wednesday. The winner gets the multi-billion dollar contract. That's how that works. The music world is in mourning tonight.